Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. If you want to be free and loved, then we shouldn't be harming and abusing others. We should be allowing them to live their lives. The World Peace Diet interview with Dr. Will Tartle, vegan, part one of four. Continue watching to find out more. Salam. That's hello in the Azerbaijani language. I am Leila, the peace-loving people of the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic invite you to join the circle of compassion reaching every corner of the universe. Welcome to part one of the four-part series entitled The World Peace Diet. Interview with Dr. Will Tuttle, vegan. Dr. Will Tuttle, a Shining World Hero Award recipient, is a composer, inspirational speaker, and pianist, as well as a Dharma master in the Zen tradition. A former philosophy professor, he presents over 100 concerts, lectures, and workshops annually, promoting veganism worldwide. Over the years, he has met and developed a beautiful friendship with Supreme Master Ching Kai in their shared efforts to build a more uplifted, compassionate vegan world. Can I sign one for you? Oh, sure, please. I just thank you so much for my heart. And <laughs> keep up here. Thank for what you do for the world. You know, we're working together. No need to thank me, you know? We work in the same direction. Yeah, we're working together, but you're you're the heart and soul of everything. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for trusting me. <laughs> Dr. Will Tuttle's bestseller, The World Peace Diet, Eating for Spiritual Health and Social Harmony, outlines the far-reaching implications of our food choices. First published in 2005, the empowering book has been translated into 16 languages and has spawned a movement of conscious, cruelty-free living for a more spiritually, ecologically, and socially wholesome world. We are honored to welcome Dr. Will Tuttle to share his insights and message. I'm so glad, actually, that we have this opportunity to talk about the main ideas in the World Peace Diet, which I think are the most critical questions that we face now because animal agriculture is destroying our ecosystems. It's really devastating our physical health. But the World Peace Diet talks about how animal agriculture harms our psychological health, our spiritual health, and our social health, our cultural health as well. There's um, an enormous amount of information. I tried to create a book that would give a foundation for a society where peace and freedom and justice and equality and sustainability are actually possible. I was able to draw from both the Eastern uh, spiritual traditions, from science, from the Western uh, traditions as well, and create a book that uh, I'm very happy has in many ways become a movement. Dr. Wiltatel explains that eating correctly can benefit our spiritual health and our social harmony. The key to spiritual health and social harmony is to understand that all of us have been born into a society that has as its living core the enslavement and killing of billions of animals, and that this wounds all of us. We're all forced from the time we're little kids to participate in mealtime rituals where we're eating the flesh and secretions of horribly abused animals. So we're not only taking out our wallets and paying for this, the killing and enslavement and sexual abuse of animals, but then we actually eat that ourselves. And then the whole thing 
is suppressed with a narrative that this is normal and natural. This is a situation that's been going on now for about 10,000 years. We've been herding animals, enslaving them and eating them. And the consequences of that are something now that I think we really need to address. Social harmony requires us as individuals to think about our society and how our individual actions and thoughts uh, help or hurt others not just human beings, but all living beings, that we're all interconnected. And one of the things I love is that I used to teach college courses in comparative religion. All the world religions agree that the basic teaching is whatever we most want for ourselves, to give that to others. If we want to be free and loved, then we shouldn't be harming and abusing others. We should be allowing them to live their lives. This is a basic spiritual teaching that our society ignores and this way of eating uh, lots of meat, dairy products, and eggs is not only devastating the rainforest and the oceans uh, and uh, every dimension of our environment, but it's also harming the internal landscape of our awareness, of our consciousness. We have to shut down our natural sensitivity and intelligence in order to live in a society like this and eat the food everybody's eating. Uh, there's a really a good saying by uh, J. Krishnamurti. He said, it's not a good idea to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And I think we have to see that animal agriculture is a disease. Uh, it's a, not only um, a disease that's causing so much suffering to our environment and to animals, but really to us as well. And to realize that each one of us as an individual can question the narrative of dominating and exploiting animals for food, and we can change ourselves. We can eat foods that come from plants that are organic, that are a product of care and love. And when we do that, we begin to be a force for healing in the world rather than being a force for domination and exploitation and terror and fear and pain of other beings who are really innocent. Cows and pigs and chickens and fishes, these are animals that didn't attack us. They didn't, they're not harming us. Why would we harm them so much when we actually want to have a world of peace? So that's the reason that social justice and harmony and spirituality are all interconnected and they're all suppressed by animal agriculture. And the good news is that we have these wonderful uh, meals that we can eat. The whole Loving Hut uh, chain of vegan restaurants is a beautiful example of this. Foods that are nutritious and delicious and that go back thousands of years. These are the basic foods that we've been eating traditionally are plant-based foods. Let's take a few moments to order our Loving Hut vegan meal. We'll be right back here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to the World Peace Diet interview with Dr. Will Tato Vegan, part one of four in chapter seven of the World Peace Diet. Dr. Tuttle speaks of reviving Sophia. Sophia is the ancient Greek goddess of wisdom. And the word philosophy, for example, philo means love of Sophia, I mean, love of wisdom. So wisdom is the inner capacity that we all have. I think women have it especially, but men also <laughs> have the capacity of Sophia, which is to love and care deeply. It's the wisdom that mothers have when they give birth to a little baby, and this baby is a lot of trouble and inconvenience, but the mother loves and protects and nurtures that baby. That's the foundation for a healthy person, for a healthy society, for a healthy world. If we don't have Sophia, the Sophia energy that loves and nurtures and cares for and protects life, then we create a world of violence and self-centeredness. Animal agriculture at its core is based on destroying Sophia, on dominating and exploiting the female animals, especially. Animal agriculture uh, has three aspects. You're, you're imprisoning the animals, you're killing the animals, but you also have to breed them. You have to sexually abuse them. And on any animal agri agriculture operation, whether it's a big commercial operation or a small backyard operation, it's always the same thing, thing that happens. I own you, I own your baby, I'm going to impregnate you against your will, I'm going to steal your baby, 
and then I'm going to kill your baby, and then I'm going to impregnate you again. This is the absolute most demonic behavior that there is possible, and it is required in all animal agriculture. We have to reduce our compassion and our Sophia as a society to such a low level and to eat this food and to keep this going generation after generation that we create a foundation of injustice and inequality and of violence that breeds and creates the wars and problems that we're having. The good news is that there are no nutrients that we need to be healthy that we have to harm animals to get. Right? I've been a vegan now for 40 years. And the beautiful thing is that we, there's no reason for this. We don't have to destroy the females and kill the babies and sexually abuse them for any reason, for any nutrients. We, we can thrive and celebrate our lives on this beautiful earth and honor the sacred feminine in nature and honor the sacred feminine within ourselves. And then we'll have a proper foundation for harmony and sustainability and freedom and justice in our human world. If we don't have it in our relationship with animals, we'll never have it within ourselves because of what I refer to in the world peace diet as the boomerang effect. Whatever we put out comes back. As we sow, we reap. If we're going to sow seeds of dominating and exploiting the, the sacred feminine dimension and suppressing it, then we're going to reap that within ourselves and our relationships, and we'll see what we have, uh, which is that we use most of our resources to create weapons and to create systems that exploit other human beings when in fact, there's nothing stopping us from creating beauty and harmony in everything that we're doing on this beautiful and abundant earth. With deep gratitude to Dr. Viltato, we pray that all of humanity joins in creating beauty and peace together through the compassionate vegan lifestyle. For more information, on the World Peace Diet, please visit worldpeacediet.com. Compassionate viewers, thank you for your company today. Join us again on Sunday, July 12th for part two of the World Peace Diet interview with Dr. Will Tato Vegan. Coming up next is Filipino delicacies from vegan chef Reina, part one of two, kare kare with eggplant, tofu, and peanut butter, right after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. May heaven bless your lives with harmony and vibrancy. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ul. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique ul. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada ul. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miring schedule dan suprememastertv.com garis miring ul.